big guy behind me is called the grey mangrove and he is the most common mangrove found in southeast Queensland. Probably over 60% of the mangroves that we find are called the grey mangrove. Very easy to distinguish. Looks like a normal tree that you find in your backyard with a very grey trunk and, and bark system. But probably one of the most distinguishing features that it has is down on the ground around it. This area that it's in is in a muddy sandy area and the top 30 centimetres of the soil is what we call the aerobic level. That's got some oxygen in it that the plant can use. Once we get under 30 centimetres, we call it anaerobic. It's got a stinky, sludgy-like appearance, and as far as the plant's concerned, it doesn't have any oxygen in it that it can use. The way it counteracts this is by sending up all of these little periscopes that you can see sticking out of the sand. They've got a special name. Their scientific name is called pneumatophores. The root system comes from the base of the tree, in the aerobic level of the sand and soil and pushes its way out. From that main root system, these pneumatophores stick up. You can see that the pneumatophores are spongy and they're very bendable. At low tide, when the water's disappeared, it takes oxygen in through the root system. It acts like a scuba tank and stores the oxygen inside tiny cells then when the water comes back in at the high tide and covers these pneumatophores, the tree can use the oxygen that's been stored to go back through the root system and up into the tree. Okay, if we're going to use our dichotomous key to identify what particular type of mangrove this is, our very first question on the key says, what mangrove is it? Do they have alternate leaves or are the leaves opposite? So let's go and have a look and find out. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is see if the leaves are opposite or are they alternate. If we have a look here, we've got an excellent example. Both leaves coming in to the stem and you can tell they are coming out exactly at the same spot on either side. We call that opposite. To double check, we go down to the next set of leaves. Once again, opposite each other. And we go to the third level, opposite. So the first question obviously is, are the leaves opposite or alternative? The answer is they are opposite. The second question says, have a look underneath the leaf. The top of the leaf is a very waxy, smooth substance. Underneath, it's a lighter yellowy and it's Green. a more matte finish. Nowhere near as smooth. And the answer of course is yes. So those two questions, opposite leaves, shiny top green surface with a pale yellow underneath, feeling a little fuzzy or furry would identify that this guy is the grey mangrove.